Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video here today at my parents' place because I still live here. I don't live in a garage. Um, but yeah, basically we're heading over to the shop again. But before we do that, we're actually doing some very exciting things. We might be buying two cars. Yeah, may maybe, maybe. Your boy's a little bit crazy sometimes. So um, I found a daily that isn't exactly what I wanted. So I really wanted a 435 or 428 as a daily. But then again, um, cost of it and depreciation, I wasn't really thinking that was the smartest thing because I would have bought it clean title um, and all that stuff. So I ran into a nice find. I really, really, really like the car. Something I never owned before. Um, so it's a completely new experience, but it's not as new as an F chassis and it's nothing like a three series. So it's super dope. I'll show you guys that hopefully when we get there. We're gonna be checking out a 435 still. If the price is right, we might still cop that. Um, and we'll be checking out some trucks because uh, your boy needs one. Now that we have a shop, we're doing some big things. We need to start towing, we need to start picking up things uh, from all kinds of different places for our builds. So we're gonna need a truck. So we're gonna check out hopefully a few trucks, um, check out a 435, and then hopefully check out the car that I'm picking up today for sure, and then uh, work on the garage. So today's a very exciting video. If you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button. But yeah, we got Johnny here with us. Hey. What's up, bro? Let's head out. At the bank, just getting some money. Or not. Turns out they're closed. Uh, we'll check back with them in about seven minutes. Let's head out. All right guys, so we're here at Starbucks. So basically, I'm just trying to finish up this video. Um, and then once we finish up this video, we'll head out and continue the rest of this uh, journey. But yeah, we just gotta get this video up for you guys. So let's just head in there, chill for a little bit, get this video up, and then head to the dealership. All right, guys. We ended up just getting a little snack here from uh, from uh, from uh, what's he called? What do you call this place, Jonathan? <laughs> we got a bagel, got a water, and we're just waiting for the video to upload. All right, let's head out. Let's check out that Raptor, yo! Oh hell! All right, guys. So we're here at the dealership. They actually have quite a lot of cars. I see a three twenty eight or a three thirty five for only six grand. Um, Maserati, Mercedes, got two M3s. Not bad, not bad. One of them is a convertible. This one actually looks really good. The color of it though is the exact same color of my first ever BMW, which I don't like. I thought it was gray and uh, it's a DCT. I'm not digging it, not digging it. Got a Corvette for only 10 grand. Red interior, manual. Is that a manual? No, that's an auto. RIP, hold it down, hold it down. And this is the Raptor, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you call a truck. I'm sorry, y'all, but uh, this thing has been used, my G's. Oh, is a 328i wagon here? Dang, that's rare. See, I, I love these, dude, these tires are just monster. Check out that suspension, dude. Just monsterious, how do you say that? Okay, well this is, this is what a Ford Raptor looks like from the inside. Um, I'm not digging the red. I actually thought I'd dig it. That seat's torn up. The heck? <laughs> That's weird. What's weird is that normally Raptors have something you can just climb onto, uh, but, and, and normally Raptors don't come with this right off the bat, so it looks like they upgraded this, but removed this little sidebar here, which is kind of weird. I don't know what's going on. Dang, it's got halos. That's upgraded for sure. A lot of interesting cars, ain't gonna lie, ain't gonna lie, but uh, I I'm not seeing the 435. Like, where's the 435? I'm mainly here for the 435, but this Raptor, honest to God, just wish it was a little bit cleaner. It's not uh, it's not that clean for what it is. 25,000, yikes. This thing is huge. Or pretty I tall. a car that's like taller than me by like this much. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, man, let's check out the truck real quick. Oh, okay, so that has a ripped seat already. Dude, this is like, it's pretty beat, I ain't gonna lie. But um, not exactly what I was thinking, but we got all the light switches here for a Raptor and stuff. It's crazy too, the sound system is Sony. I've never seen that before. Every single day. No traffic, it's like 20 minutes, 22 minutes. Is it? Like, exactly. Maybe you're on a as well. Okay. All right, guys, so that was the Raptor. Truly an experience I've never tried before, but um, let's go ahead and check out the 435 real quick and uh, we'll see what's going on here. Feel free, you already know how to drive it. Take yeah. It out, take it out, same route, please. Cool, cool, all right. You want to speed, speed, you get a ticket, it's on you. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. 
All right, guys, so here's the 435. Here's the dent. Actually, not bad not, at all. Not as bad as I thought. Yeah, this can actually get honestly pulled out. Uh, rear bumper damage? Yeah, so the rear bumper from the pictures, I did see that it was damaged, repainted. You can clearly see all that. Actually, you can really see it's been repainted. The gaps and everything look fine. This is a clean title, but in the Carfax, it says it's been hit twice in the rear. So when it comes to just looking at this car, I'm gonna make sure I take the time to make sure this is pretty good. Honestly, it looks fine because none of this stuff would line up right if it was buckled. So that looks fine. We're just seeing if there's any like major dents. Okay, well, there's no dents to this wall right here, which is actually really impressive considering this was rear-ended twice. So um, it looks like it could just be really minor rear-ends because this bumper is messed up, 100% sure. Uh, But um, the reason I'm looking at it, guys, is because it's the highest mileage 335 in the country. 435? 435. Yeah, for, for all this is a 435, guys. Highest, highest 435 five. mileage in the country. Um, so I went to, I wanted to see this one, and at the same time, it's a 435. I mean, come on. Here's the interior M Sport package. Ooh, damn, it actually has M Sport package, not just Sport. Yeah. So that's really nice. You got beautiful, beautiful steering wheel, nav, heads-up display. Harman Kardon sound system. I think this thing looks really dope. It even has a sports seat. Let's go ahead and just drive. First time driving a 435. All right, guys, so I just went ahead and spoke with Brian from Keys Motorsports. I needed his advice on the car, whether it was a good idea or not. He told me it is really high mileage. There is, you know, a few things that will be negative, positive, but end of the day, I'm going to offer a price, and if he accepts, we'll go ahead and go with it. Alright guys, we're pulling up to 128. Devon's about to pull up and see the car with us. John's about to see it for the first time. I checked it out yesterday. I love the car. Whew. We got the money. Let's go, <laughs> let's go pick up this car, baby. It has two keys, man. It has two keys. I finally buy a car that has two keys. Oh my lord. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> it's so sad, but it's a blessing. It's a blessing in disguise. Anyways, let's head down there. Almost there. I'm about to show you, you all the new car. You know I have such a dead leg right now. Um, Alright, we're about to actually talk to him about the car and then uh, we'll let you guys know what happens. Guys, check this out, honestly. So this is the main reason I don't like 128s, I don't like 328s, I don't like any of that stuff. Jeez. <laughs> what? It was divine. <laughs> Yesterday, I came to check it out. Everything is good. So we're actually, his dad's actually gonna win all the paperwork and hopefully we can get this all sorted out. Is a salvage title, but that's not that's not a big deal for me. I mean, mainly I just need something to commute with um, and we might be picking up another car tomorrow. So that might be my new commuter. I don't know what's going on here, but regardless, I like this car. So we'll pick it up regardless. But yeah, once uh, once we get all the paperwork, we're hopefully gonna be driving this down to the shop and I'll show you guys everything about it when we get there. Driving away in the new whip, my first ever one series. Red interior, LCI, updated nav, 43,000 miles. Let's get this thing to the shop and check out what's wrong with it. Bro, this thing is mint. I swear to God, I love this car, Dude, it guys. It looks so nice driving behind Right? You. Dude, it's so small. Like, it literally feels like I've driven a little, like, go-kart. 43,000 miles, guys. I'm gonna look for some rims. I'm gonna look for a body kit. I'm gonna look for all kinds of cool stuff for this thing. I'm super stoked. I hope you guys are, too. This is something I kind of want to do a little build on. And then I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping it forever uh, because we will be getting a car tomorrow. <laughs> so we'll figure out which is gonna be the daily, either today's car or the one tomorrow. So two surprises for you guys. 
picking up two. I'm not like balling out or anything like that. You guys know I sold the M3, so I'm just making a few decisions right now. This 128 was just a really, really good find. So we're gonna get this in the garage for you guys and just show you guys, uh, you know, how much it was, all that stuff. Tell you guys pretty much all the things that's going on with the channel, why I'm picking up another car tomorrow, and uh, tell you guys all the features and stuff. Let's just, just open up our, our shop, because that's insane. Guys, you know what else is crazy? We came here the other day to put in the couches and stuff, but it got super dark. So hopefully you guys are gonna actually be able to see the couches and everything during the day. Oh, man. So good in here. Dude, this oh, is, man. this is sick. Oh, you haven't seen with the power on it? Nah, turn on the lights, dude. Oh man, I gotta record this too. <laughs> Alright. See the lights in here, guys? Damn, that's one side. Jeez. The other side is unfortunately over here. Dang, these are LEDs, uh, aren't they? An hour and a half to just do this little section right over here. For real? Yeah. Dang. You try it. It is such a pain. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm chilling like a villain. You're good? I'm good. The lighting for the videos is going to be insane. We didn't have to pay for that. Actually, the place came with all these LED lights, which is kind of crazy. But uh, yeah, so I don't know if you guys noticed in the last video, um, Devon ended up buying an E46 uh, for $300. But let's go ahead and try to see if we can move the E46 forward so I can try to get some cars in here. Check out the 135, the 128. I wish it was 135, damn it. But anyways, let me go ahead and move the E46 forward. All right, guys, now that we've got the, the 128 inside the garage, let me explain to you guys the reasoning to why I actually got this car. So you guys are looking at it. It's a 128i salvage tied up of 43,000 miles. Absolutely mint. The car feels mint, drives mint. So, you know, everything about this car doesn't feel like a salvage whatsoever. It actually even looks like a clean title. I've driven a lot of clean title cars. It felt a lot worse than this. That's why I literally had to pick this up. 43,000 miles. Uh, this is a 2011, so LCI has all the LCI upgrades. Has a lot of LCI upgrades, updated navigation, Bluetooth, heated seats, red seats, sports seats, power seats. Like there's so much options. It has the, it has the paddle shifters, the LCI paddle shifters, and so much more, guys. This thing has so many options. It had two keys, pink slip, everything was legit, and I got it for $5,800. If you guys look up a clean title version of this base model, they go for around $12,000. I got pretty much ha less than half the price, and this thing is fully spec. Out. So that's the reason I picked this up. I really want to do some kind of crazy build to it. And you know, never know, maybe down the road we're going to do an engine swap because we have the resources now, you know? We have the resources. We have the resources. So we're capable of doing it. And uh, we, wa we wanted to get this because it's literally the cheapest low mileage, you know, 128 I've ever seen. Like, like not, like I'm starting to look now and I got one, but that I've ever seen. Tomorrow I'm saying I'm going to be looking at another car mainly because the car was also too good of a deal to pass up, but it's from a dealership. So I'm gonna be putting like two to $3,000 down, get the car, bring it here, make it my new daily while I'm working on this, you know, or make, you know, drive this while I'm working on the other car. So I have a car regardless. Uh, the other one, I'm only putting like 2,000 down. So I don't think I'm like balling out or something like that. That's not what's happening here. Um, this car was 5,800, the other car put 2,000 down. That's about $8,600. That's a good chunk of money, but for two cars, you can't complain. That's that's a beauty. And you about to see the car tomorrow, you're not gonna believe it. Like you guys are not gonna Gonna believe it. Hopefully we get it. Hopefully we get approved. First time applying for a car loan, so we'll figure that out. But first time for everything. And uh, I don't know, Jonathan. What do, you, what do you think about this car right now? Bro, it's so nice. Like, like isn't it? Like when I said 128, you weren't feeling it, right? Nah. To be honest, I was like, it's a 128. They're slow, but after I just sat in it, and it's pretty quick, right? I'm not gonna lie. For a 128. It's Felt like your 335. Yeah, no, it, like, it, it's actually pretty quick. It's pretty quick yeah. for what it is. Cause it's a small, guys, this thing is tiny. This thing is smaller than that, the old E46 3 Series. Like this thing is tiny. And I love how it has the one M front bumper. Those things go for a hefty penny. It'd be like 500 bucks. So we're gonna try to do some cool things. Uh, rear bumper spoilers, a whole bunch of carbon stuff. Super hyped for this build. If you guys are too, make sure to smash that like button. Yeah, we definitely need rims and coils. The reason I'm actually gonna get some rims is because these tires are bald and I figured might as well when you're getting new tires, get new rims, just do the whole shebang. Bang. We're just unloading a few things here, guys. Jonathan's stuff. Oh, Ooh, I can't wait to sit on my workstation. All right, guys, so we just locked up shop right now. We just unloaded some stuff off the X5. Not really much today. We're mainly just going out to look for those two cars. The 128 does need some work before we can start driving it. Some very minor work. We just need to put a little bit of oil. It needs a quarter oil. I think it has a valve cover leak. Again, that's no big deal. We'll figure that out. We'll solve that. We can do it ourselves. Um, probably like a $30 job. Labor intensive, but $30 job. And then if we have some AC, probably a little AC recharge wouldn't hurt. Just like that, guys, we are back to, we, are, we have topped off on oil. Our AC is running cold, right? Here, get to go. So we'll get something to eat. I'm kind of hungry. Guys, check out that look. Oh my God. I'm kind of confused why there's a girl on my key. 
one of many charging stations, but uh, I think that's super dope. Jonathan brought some speakers to the garage, guys. He's gonna go ahead and set that up and show you guys how it looks in the end. Alright brothers and sisters, we're actually going to head out and uh, get some shades for the shop because we need it um, before we actually start building the benches. I want to build the benches, that's fine, but I want to go get the blinds before they close. Through the wastelands, through the highways, to my shadow, to the sun rays, and the That's how she's looking right now. I just need to cut the sides. It's gonna be perfect. I think it looks really good. Functional and everything, don't worry. Um, but yeah, we get some light, no light. All right guys, you guys aren't ready for this. You aren't ready. So tired. Yeah, you guys aren't ready. took us a little bit, but blinds are up. Is it blinds, right? It's, it's, blinds. it's blinds, basically. Blinds are up, oh my lord. They look pretty good, I mean I wish they had different colors and stuff, well they had, but it was like three times the price. But um, these would do just fine. <laughs> um, we were actually thinking about building our uh, workstations, but too tired, let's just head home. We'll, we'll catch up tomorrow, we'll get, come back here tomorrow. Um, we might be picking up that other car in the next video. So if you guys are hyped for all that good stuff, make sure to smash that like button. Thank you all so much for the recent support. We're super stoked to bring you guys the best content that we could possibly do. I have an insane build in mind that literally no one has ever done before. And we're gonna be doing it hopefully in this garage for you guys. So if you guys are stoked, smash that like button. Without further ado guys, I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. And we'll grow in